Create a new script in your line renderer game object and call it as you wish. Use the require component attribute at the top of the class to tell your script it requires an edge collider 2D in the same game object where the script is at. Let's create two variables, an edge collider 2D and a line renderer. Their name is your choice. At the start function, assign your two variables to the corresponding line renderer and edge collider 2D on this same game object. Create a method called setEdgeCollider that is fed a line renderer variable. In this method, first we will create a list of vector tools called edges that will store all the points from our line renderer in two dimensions. Then we loop through all the points in our line renderer. So for every point starting at zero, while smaller than the total number of points, increase the point by one. Inside this loop, first we store the current line renderer vector 3 by getting the position at the current point. Then, we add a new vector 2 to our edges list that is made up of the vector 3's x and y positions. Once we go through all the points, we assign this list to our edge collider 2D by using the edge collider 2D set points method. By running this function in the update method, your edge collider will adapt to any changes made to the line renderer in this same game object. You can now put this script on any game object that has a line renderer that you want to enable collisions on. You made it to the end, you made it to the end, you made it to the end, thank you. You made it to the end, you made it to the end, you made it to the end, thank you. Don't forget that you can like and subscribe, don't forget that you can like and subscribe. So